Welcome to A to Z Summary YouTube channel. Here is a detailed analysis and summary of the novel Like Water for Chocolate by Laura Esquivel. Before proceeding further I request you to please subscribe our channel and like the video, also comment your favorite books and novel so that I can provide summary for it, now let's start with the summary. The characters in the novel are The themes of the novel are Like Water for Chocolate by Laura Esquivel is a story about a girl named Tita who faces many challenges in her life. Set in Mexico during the early 20th century, the novel explores themes of love, family, tradition, and the power of food. Tita is forbidden to marry because of a family tradition that requires her to care for her mother until she dies. Despite this, she falls in love with Pedro, who ends up marrying her sister to stay close to Tita. Throughout the story, Tita expresses her emotions through cooking, and her dishes have magical effects on those who eat them. The novel is filled with rich imagery and symbolism, with recipes woven into the narrative that represent Tita's emotions and desires. It shows how food can be a form of communication and expression, as well as a source of comfort and healing. As the story unfolds, Tita struggles to find happiness amidst the constraints of tradition and societal expectations. However, she ultimately finds liberation through her love for Pedro and her connection to food. The novel opens with the introduction of the de la Garza family, residing on a ranch in Mexico during the Revolutionary Era. The matriarch of the family, Mama Elena, is a stern and authoritarian figure, while Tita, the youngest daughter, possesses an innate talent for cooking. Tita's love for Pedro Musquez, a local boy, is evident from the start, but Mama Elena forbids their union due to a family tradition that mandates the youngest daughter to remain unmarried and care for her mother until her death. Despite Mama Elena's decree, Pedro expresses his love for Tita and proposes marriage. Mama Elena, however, arranges for Pedro to marry Tita's older sister, Rosara, in order to remain close to Tita. Heartbroken but unable to defy her mother, Tita resigns herself to a life of sorrow. Rosara and Pedro marry, but their relationship is strained due to Pedro's enduring love for Tita, which causes tension within the household. Cooking becomes Tita's solace, as she channels her emotions into her culinary creations. Her dishes become infused with her feelings, affecting those who consume them in profound and unexpected ways. The food acts as a medium through which Tita communicates her suppressed desires and emotions, leading to both joy and turmoil for those around her. The dynamics within the de la Garza family are complex and fraught with tension. Mama Elena's rigid adherence to tradition and authority leaves little room for individual autonomy or expression. Tita's struggle to find her voice and assert her identity is a central theme, as she grapples with the conflicting demands of duty and desire. As Tita and Pedro's forbidden love persists, their passion intensifies, leading to clandestine encounters and stolen moments of affection. The simmering tension reaches its peak when Pedro and Tita consummate their love in a moment of reckless abandon, setting off a chain of events that culminate in tragedy and heartbreak. Throughout the narrative, elements of magical realism are woven seamlessly into the fabric of everyday life. From Tita's ability to infuse her cooking with her emotions to the ghostly presence of Mama Elena, the novel blurs the line between reality and fantasy, creating a surreal and enchanting world that captivates the reader's imagination. In the aftermath of tragedy, Tita embarks on a journey of self-discovery and liberation. Freed from the constraints of familial expectations and societal norms, she embraces her true desires and finds the courage to pursue her own happiness. Through her resilience and inner strength, Tita emerges as a symbol of hope and empowerment, inspiring those around her to live authentically and unapologetically. As the novel draws to a close, Tita's journey comes full circle, as she finds peace and fulfillment in her newfound independence. Though scarred by loss and heartache, she emerges stronger and more resilient, ready to embrace the future with open arms. Like Water for Chocolate is a timeless tale of love, longing, and the transformative power of self-discovery, resonating with readers long after the final page is turned. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more bookish content.